Hey guys, I'm coming at you with another what I eat in a week quarantine edition. I asked you guys on Instagram what content you guys wanted to see from me right now and this was by far the most requested so here it is. I just want to say that unlike my past videos, this video was not filmed in a consecutive week just because if I'm being completely honest with you guys, my sleeping and eating schedule is pretty messed up so I definitely don't eat like this on a daily basis and I really don't want to give off a false perception that I am eating like this every day because I don't want you guys to see this video and then feel bad about yourselves if you aren't eating like this because I'm not either. This video is really just to help give you guys some inspiration on a different quarantine recipes to make and also to help motivate me to stop eating instant ramen all the time and to also try to get my eating schedule back on track because I feel like I've just been snacking constantly and haven't been eating proper meals so yeah don't feel bad if you don't have your life together this quarantine because neither do I So I'm getting a pretty late start to my day because I was up until about 4 a.m. watching TikTok. <sighs> Such a black hole, but I just made some oatmeal and topped it with some fresh berries. And then also I'm having this pop and bottle matcha green tea latte. So I finally changed out of my pajamas because I'm about to do a mini home workout. Little tip for you guys is to try working out with friends over FaceTime because I feel like it just makes the whole experience a lot more enjoyable. I don't know, for some reason I have a hard time working out in my room by myself and it also helps you stay more accountable. But if your friends are busy or they're not even into working out, then you can always try watching a live stream workout. I feel like so many places are hosting free ones either on Instagram or YouTube, so you should definitely check those out. I've been doing a few of the 305 ones and it's pretty fun. It's definitely not the same as doing them in studio but I admit I haven't been doing it too much lately just because it involves a lot of jumping and I live on the second story of a house and I'm really not trying to piss off my landlord. <laughs> Even though I'm quarantined at home I still have some work to do so I don't think I'm going to be able to shower afterwards so I'm just going to use deodorant. The one that I've been using is this one from Native. I only like to use a natural and aluminum free deodorant and that's why I love Native because they use super clean and awesome ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. This one is in the coconut vanilla scent and it honestly, it smells so good and it's gonna help keep me smelling nice and fresh after my sweaty workout. So before I forget, let me just put it on right now. The texture is not sticky and it also dries pretty quickly. I also have them in a few other scents. This is the eucalyptus and mint. This scent reminds me of the towels at Equinox. Not that I've ever been, but I did go to a sauna that had eucalyptus infused towels and I must say it was quite refreshing. And then I also have it in the lavender and rose, which is just a nice floral scent. There's no parabens or sulfates in this deodorant and Native is also vegan and cruelty free. If you guys want to try out Native, then I will leave the link below and you can get 33% off your first order plus free shipping if you use my code ZOE33. Hello! Oh. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Shall we get started? Now get on the low plan position and So 
So for my post-workout meal, I'm having some fresh fruit. I have apples, strawberries, and mango. that it's not real beef just by the texture but taste wise it's taste wise it's pretty good i would definitely get it again So I'm having a nice colorful breakfast this morning. I have some scrambled eggs with spinach, avocado for healthy fats with some strawberries. I also made some coffee because I was up until like 3 a.m. playing Animal Crossing and I am pretty tired right now, not gonna lie. <sighs> yep, I needed that. <laughs> So I've just been editing for the past few hours and I'm getting a bit hungry. So I grabbed this Nosh bar. They just released this new flavor. It's the lemon and blueberry flavor and it literally tastes like a blueberry muffin. Super yummy. I've been eating these nonstop since I got them just because they're a really quick and healthy option. You guys know that I love Nosh bars. I've mentioned them quite a few times in my What I Eat in a Week videos, especially their goji berry flavor. Oh, so good there's no added sugars or preservatives in these and they're also super nutrient dense so i find that when i eat them they keep me full for a decent amount of time so this is my lunch pretty simple i just heated up my curry that i topped over some rice that i just made in my rice cooker honestly guys this was one of the best quarantine recipes that i've made so far because it seriously lasted me like oh gosh i don't even know maybe like five or six meals this is such a quick and easy meal and it's great for when you're hungry but don't necessarily feel like cooking which has been me a lot lately if you guys want to see how i made this i showed it in my last vlog so i shall link it here in one of these two corners i think it's this one and then on the side i'm just having some kimchi to get in my probiotics and then some dry seaweed so this will probably be the thumbnail uh and this is kind of the residential area i felt it was a bit crammed in the downtown area so i decided to make this have a little bit more breathing room for more nature so this is kevin c's house i really like him uh he's really kind of almost scary looking So tonight I am going to be making kimchi stew. I've been watching quite a bit of K-dramas lately and it just got me craving it. And I think I have all the ingredients, so I'm going to attempt to make it for the first time. Let's hope that this actually goes well.
this is the finished result. Oh my god, it looks so good. And then I just made some rice on the side. Yeah. Okay, let's dig in. Whew. Moment of truth. Mmm. Oh it's so good. Mm. For this late breakfast slash early lunch, I just threw this bowl together really quickly. I have egg, smoked salmon, avocado, and some leftover rice from last night. For dinner, I made some pasta with broccoli and mushrooms. I used the bonza pasta, which is made out of chickpeas, so it's high in fiber and protein. And then for sauce, I am going to be using the Rayo's Arrabbiata sauce. This has been my new favorite sauce because it's slightly spicy, so it has a nice little kick to it. To be honest, I'm not that hungry right now, but I'm trying not to skip any meals, so I just put this together really quickly. I'm having some toast with almond butter and fruit, and then a little yogurt parfait. Since I cooked the bread and butter, it's a really nice mix between sweet and savory. Guys, it's been so long since I last had boba. I wanna say almost a month. I know, crazy. So I finally caved and ordered some off of Uber Eats. Ah, I'm so excited. Ugh. Oh my God, this gives me stress every time. Ooh, cheers. <laughs> That's some good. What is that? Oh my god, it's been so long. Having a nice boba date with Lenny. <laughs> What'd you get? think 
So for dinner, I admit I was too lazy to cook because I've just been playing Animal Crossing. So I heated up my curry that I made a few days ago with some potatoes and carrots and I just made some rice underneath. So I'm just going to eat while I play. Oh, guys, I'm seriously so addicted. It's pretty bad, but at least it's helping my quarantine go by faster. <laughs> Today I am going to attempt to make the Dalgona matcha or I guess whipped matcha because I've been obsessed with making the Dalgona coffee. It's so good and you guys know how I feel about my matcha so yeah I thought that I would give it a try. Okay so first you're going to take a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of water and then just bring it to a boil. Next I'm going to take one egg and separate the egg white from the yolk. And then I'm going to take my electric mixer and beat the egg whites until they fluffen up. All right, so this is what it looks like now. I think I might have added too much water to my matcha because it's definitely not whipped anymore. So I guess we're just going to be having a matcha latte today, but it's fine. We love all forms of matcha. So to go along with my matcha, I just threw together a quick yogurt bowl with strawberries, blueberries, banana, and a coconut granola. So this is what she looks like. Give her a nice stir. And the matcha is actually pretty foamy. Cheers. I think it's a bit sweet for my liking, but not bad. I will say that I think I prefer the Dalgona coffee better only because I don't really like my matcha to be too sweet. I prefer my matcha to be pretty strong and bitter. So I think next time I probably won't add as much sugar. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. But if you do like sweet things and you have some time to kill, then I would definitely recommend at least trying it. It's about 4.30 right now and I'm just getting around to eating a late lunch slash early dinner. I don't even know what this is. <sighs> My eating schedule has been so messed up just because I feel like I'm constantly snacking and not eating like proper meals but I just made my go-to salad. I feel like I've shown you guys this so many times, but it's just so quick and easy to make. All you need is nori seaweed, kimchi, star of the show, cucumber, egg, which is optional, and usually I pair this with avocado, but I don't wanna have anything too heavy since I still want room for dinner. And then you just top everything off with sesame oil and everything but the bagel seasoning. For dinner tonight, I am going to be making it these bibam udon noodles. I got these from H Mart a while ago, but they've just been sitting in my fridge for the longest time, so I thought might as well try making them tonight. I also chose this because it says that it'll be ready in three minutes, and I'm super hungry.
dude this looks so bomb oh my goodness and to make it a little bit fancier i just garnished it with some green onion and a boiled egg all right first bite mm. oh my god it's really spicy but oh god, this is so good It's spicy, but it's also slightly sweet. Mm. 